When former Vice President Cheney was offered a choice, Boss Limbaugh or the decorated ger a ger a general rather, with whom Cheney has served through two administrations and three wars, in our fourth story in the countdown, Cheney chose Limbaugh. The question to Mr. Cheney, did he agree with Limbaugh that the party would be better off if the former Secretary of State, General Colin Powell, left it and became a Democrat? Or was General Powell right in saying that Republicans would be better off if they did not have Limbaugh speaking for them? Well, if I had to choose uh, in, in terms of being a Republican, I'd go with Rush Limbaugh, I think. I think um, my take on it was Colin had already left the party. I didn't know he was still a Republican. You know, so you you think that he's not a Republican? Uh, I just, no, just noted he uh, endorsed um, the Democratic candidate for president this time, Barack Obama. I assume that um, that's some indication of his loyalty and his interest. And, and you said you'd take Rush Limbaugh over Colin Powell? I would. All right. Politically. And Boss Limbaugh returned that favor today, saying that Cheney's only motivation to speak out about torture is love of country. And then this, quoting, Dick Cheney knows the people in the middle of the road get run over. Mm, Dick Cheney knows that there really is no such thing as a centrist. Dick Cheney knows that there's really no such thing as a moderate. Dick Cheney is one lone voice in the Republican Party. As the GOP's new scarlet letter, M for moderate, Senator John McCain basically said that there was room for moderates in the GOP, as long as the party does not uh, moderate. I don't want to moderate either. I think our, our policies, the principles of, of our party are as viable today as they, as they have in the past. In all due respect, the previous administration, by letting spending get out and getting completely out of control, by betraying some of those principles of our party, cost us a couple of elections. Let's turn now to associate editor and Pulitzer Prize winning columnist of the Washington Post, MSNBC political analyst Eugene Robinson. Good evening, Gene. Evening, Keith. Mr. Cheney could have finessed the question that he got about Limbaugh and Powell, but he made his pick and he went further. He, he expressed this mock surprise that General Powell was still even in the Republican Party. Could he have made that any more clear? He could not have made it clearer. I, I, I just thought it was bizarre. This is, a, this is a man with whom Dick Cheney has served at a very high level in two administrations, a man, Colin Powell, who, who has given the nation a lifetime of exemplary public service. Uh, we can disagree over the run-up to the Iraq war, we disagree on specific policies, but uh, I don't know anyone who, who doesn't think he is an, an, an honorable man who has served his country well. On the other hand, you have Rush Limbaugh, uh, who, who, who goes to conferences and, and brags about how much money he makes through um, bluster uh, on the radio. Uh, and so who are you going to choose to exemplify your party? Um, it, it is just bizarre that Dick Cheney would go with Limbaugh in this situation, but as you said, he doubled down. He went further than Schieffer did. And the quid pro quo came back on the uh, what motivates Dick Cheney from Limbaugh today, which he, he said he does not need the money. He has no further political ambitions. He is not hot for interns. He is not a torture freak. Is it possible that Dick Cheney is motivated by love of and for his country? There was no mention in there that he might be uh, trying to avoid, say, uh, going to prison, possibly in, I don't know, Guatemala or somewhere. Or that Cheney might be <laughs> working on a virtual, if not a literal, jury pool here. I, it, the, there was no mention of, of those uh, possibilities. There was also no mention of the possibility that uh, nobody quite knows what Dick Cheney mm -hmm. is up to. Uh, this is, you know, there are a lot of Republicans who are scratching their heads as well. Um, uh, uh, perhaps Dick Cheney might want to go back to Wyoming, uh, be more comfortable home on the range where there's always kind of room for another colorful old guy at the general store uh, who wants to tell outlandish stories. But uh, that's kind of what he's acting like. It's a really, really odd spectacle, and he seems to want to give us more every Sunday. Yeah, but they have one of those in every prison movie, too. There was a, the, 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 the guy with the crazy stories in Shawshank Redemption, you know, and Birdman of Alcatraz. That's true. He could easily could do a remake of Birdman. Uh, Cheney got anointed with this phrase, one lone voice. There seems to be something extremely telling in Boss Limbaugh elevating Dick Cheney as the one lone voice of the Republican Party. I mean, it's, they're ready and raring to go backwards. Exactly. Now, now the Republican Party, from its recent behavior, you might conclude that the Republican Party is feeling fairly suicidal. But is even today's Republican Party going to fall in line behind the one lone voice of a, a vice president who left office with literally subterranean approval ratings, whose, whose, whose philosophy has been uh, and attitude and actions have been roundly rejected by the country? That I, I don't even think today's 
these Republicans are going to are going to go for that. Uh, of course, I've been wrong before, Keith. But but Senator McCain, who theoretically, after what he went through last year, should feel free to say anything he wants, again goes with the idea that Republicans did not act truly conservative enough during the Bush years and modestly new ideas even from his own daughter are not the way to go and I sit here and I wonder do they all think that the next election will be in 1952 <laughs> maybe 1952 maybe 1928 I mean you kind of pick your year but not not this year or not 2012 mm -hmm. it, it, it this is a this is a party as I've said before that is was founded on um, sound principles I don't agree with all of them but but they they make sense there's something to work with uh, it would be good to have a, a strong Republican party a, a, a loyal opposition that that contributed to the debate um, but they seem determined not to try to bring forward their ideas to today's reality this is this is a different world, and they are not in it. Uh, homogeneity and steadfastness, and uh, and seeing the world as as it was when they were kids. The Pulitzer Prize winning Eugene Robinson <laughs> of the Washington Post. Thank you kindly, sir. Great to be here, Keith.